the amount of kind of like homophobic chants like from the entire stadium where you suddenly go, oh, I'm not welcome here. I had a pride flag on me and I was like, let's get a photo with it. And the fear just suddenly like kind of kicked in. As fans, how do you feel? Do you feel accepted being able to come to games and... Yeah, I think it's a lot better. Yeah. Um, was it, was it, so, sorry that I also interrupt, was it, you feel like before it wasn't, you as group were not accepted as much in football as, as, as you could be now? Yeah, I think so. I think it's That's more about yeah, it's, yeah. It's sad, being yourself yeah. at, at yeah. a match. Yeah. It's, it, I mean, I guess you can still go and still feel uncomfortable to a certain extent, but actually just being able to go to a match and be your authentic self mm -hmm. without anything coming from that or sitting around and hearing, you know, like... Comments. So, yeah, yeah, comments from others. I think you guys also other... deserve a lot of credit to mm -hmm. go ahead regardless of, of, of opinions or outcomes. It's taken a while to get there though. Like, yeah. I mean, like, I, I, my first match was when I was three years old, like, back in the late 80s. Um, <laughs> uh, and, you know, like, I grew up at the Dell. I loved it. And there was a period of time where I didn't feel like I belonged at a football match because, you know, I can remember going to a, a Brighton match and like the amount of kind of like homophobic chants like from the entire yeah. stadium where you yeah. suddenly go, oh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not welcome here. Being gay and being a football fan was not something that was compatible. And that really kind of broke my heart because I loved it so much. I still loved the game, I still loved the club. So I kind of stepped up and I felt like I was kind of giving myself the bravery to go, I'm going to call this out. I'm going to say enough. It needs that from everyone to kind of go, let's make this space yeah. as, as welcoming as, as humanly possible, rather than it just being on like us as, yeah. as, the, yeah. as the LGBTQ fans to kind of call stuff out. It's, it's reliant on allies. But and th this kind is of... the thing like you mentioned, obviously, like that you were brave enough, but mm. there, there will be a lot of people that aren't brave enough mm. that shouldn't almost have to be brave. They should be able to just come just enjoy. to it. This, it, it upsets me because mm. they should, everyone should be able to walk through the door. I love football. I love my team. I love what Romeo does on the pitch. I love what Rafferty does on the pitch. Yeah. I want to go, it doesn't matter. Like, yeah. How can people make, that's what I don't. Like, yeah. You almost shouldn't have to be brave and it's a credit to you for being brave, but it's also a credit to what you're doing now because for, Girls, boys that are 10 years old now, any age, whatever they want to be, they should be able to walk in to St Mary's and go, I love Southampton Football Club. I mean, it's kind of baffling because I, you know, considering how much we've already done with Rainbow Saints, I think we had this conversation the other day. Um, we came, uh, a load of Rainbow Saints came to the uh, Palace mm -hmm. match um, and we said, I had a pride flag on me and I was like, let's get a photo with it. And the fear just suddenly like kind of kicked in and we were just a bit like that's that's a bit and but then we also had a conversation and went well no wait this is why we're doing this yeah. because we shouldn't feel like this and there's still that kind of culture of going oh but yeah. someone might say something something there's beer around someone might throw something <laughs> yeah. you still have that tension that yeah. kind of comes up because it's still a society thing yeah, yeah, yeah. it's yeah. not it's not just football it's, it's more about education and starting those stories and not about having arguments and debates and people getting angry and heated. It's about just having these conversations and looking at where one side's coming from and where the other side's coming from and how we can move forward together. Personally, I've felt, I've always felt comfortable at St. Mary's. Yeah. I feel a bit more anxious for like other people okay. thinking what could maybe happen to them. Like my boyfriend would never come to a football match. There's yeah. no interest in it because mm. he's had bad experiences with it yeah. or whatever. But because I've had so many positive experiences coming to matches and supporting the club, mm. um, I want to be, I want Rainbow Saints to be able to kind of go to other LGBTQ people. This is a really fun environment. Yeah. This is yeah. a really fun place where you can come and support a club um, and a club that really wants you engaged. Because mm. there could be a whole generation of fantastic players that we've lost out on because they haven't felt like they are welcome in the game. And that's just a big tragedy for everyone. So for us to be able to create an atmosphere whereby everyone feels like this sport is for them, then we're all gonna benefit. It's a different example, but I remember, and, and there is one thing that I think we should all be looking at. That when I was young, I was going to the matches and everyone was shouting at the ref and, and was, was saying things that 
when when in Ryden, I thought that was the, what you had to do when you were going to the match because I was very very young. This point is because I think language is is key in, in this in, in order to educate people. And when someone a kid is young and he falls down and he has pain, someone may say, oh, "Don't be a little girl." What? Why? A little girl can be braver than anyone. We still, I think, we still got a way to go. The equal and and mindset to allow everyone in football matches, um, either as supporters or as, as, as players. It's getting better, it's, it's, it's improving, and I think we're doing a great job, but we've still got, um, um, I would say, a way to go. You can criticize, you can, you can, you can judge things, and, and you can see them badly. You may not like someone, but, but don't go against the way they are, or the way, whether they, they, they like something, whether they're set in color in, in their skin, that, that's something that you should never attack someone by. And, and, and hopefully we, we're going to improve on that because at the minute there's, there's still cases and there's still things that are happening. I once had a little boy with Rafferty number six on the back of their shirt and I looked at him and I just cried. I was like, this is unbelievable because, yeah, you see, like, all girls have, have men, like I had Marianne Bahars, I had James Beattie on the back for the years when I wanted to be a striker and then I just wasn't a striker, I'm a centre back now. Um, <laughs> yeah, but like to see that, like little boys with Rafferty, yeah. and I was like, wow, like this is, it took me back and I saw him walking in town in West Quay, not even at a football match, like in a shopping centre and I was like, He's not one bit scared to get scrutinised that that's a female on the back of his shirt. Mm -hmm. And I'm so proud of him. I went up to him and I just, I said, hi, I'm Laura. And he goes, I know you are. And I was like, this is fantastic. And this is the thing what this club should be about and is about. And that's why I'm so for what you guys are doing. And um, yeah, thank yeah, you. That's such, an, that's such a positive impact on, on that whole family to kind of change a perspective of going, yeah. the, the men's team are as valued as the women's team, the women's yeah. team are as valued as the men's team. That's something I'll always remember. Yeah. And that's why I think these, these chats are so important. When I personally would be happy is when everyone can feel safe in their own body going to and from a football game just to be there to support their club, their people and and just be happy, you know, all the time in their own skin because that's what everyone deserves to be. I was thinking as well, is there anything that we as players could do to help? I think it's always speaking out in support visibly makes it known to other players that this is a club that um, accepts and uh, actively wants to kind of integrate gay players into the team, whether men's or women's. Being kind of like really positively behind that representation within the club is, is a huge thing to talk to those fans who might not be as accepting and going, no, no, this is the, this is the club. This is what we stand for. These are the values that we stand for. Um, and if that's coming from the most visible people in the club, who yeah. are the players, that's a huge thing. It's a huge statement to, to fans who are not accepting. It's a huge f statement to fans who are a little nervous about coming to a match. That can give a, a huge boost to, to all aspects of it. What you're doing right now is you're trying to make it seen. And when people see it and they can't get away from it, they start to accept it yeah. and then they realize it actually doesn't have an effect on their life yeah. if they don't want it to but it can have an effect on other people's life that then they can come to games and feel good yeah. and that's the thing i think the more like you're saying if we do that as players and you know as, as a group as a club yeah. we just give enough that in environment that anyone be here we want you yeah. here we do we, <laughs> yeah. we want you here and even the fact of coming to the stadiums as you say my boyfriend does my boyfriend doesn't want to come yeah. that's a shame because yeah. He could, he could love it. Yeah. He could mm. come here and love it, feel welcomed. Yeah. And, and so it should be. That's the next step. we get in your boyfriend to a game. <laughs> this is going to be a long, a <laughs> long, long <laughs> journey. But we will get there. We'll get there someday, someday. <laughs> sure. oh, it will happen. I think after, <laughs> after this, watching this, I think he might. Let's do it, yeah.